The Great Compromise, written by Julia Cook, illustrated by Kyle Merriman. My name is Cora June. My favorite food is spaghetti. My favorite color is blue. My favorite game is dodgeball. And I love to go to the zoo. I'm a pretty happy person when things are going my way. But today I'm super grumpy because I'm having a very bad day. On Friday, our class is having a fantastic flavor feast. We get to work in pairs and make our favorite food at home and then bring it to class and give everyone a taste. I got paired up with Wilson. Let's do spaghetti. No, I want tacos. But spaghetti is my favorite food. Well, tacos are my favorite food. Cora, June, and Wilson, you are just going to have to learn how to compromise. At recess, I wanted to play dodgeball, but Wilson tried to talk everybody into playing soccer. Dodgeball is better. It's fast, and it's so much more fun. No, it's not. If you get hit by the ball, you're out, and then you're done. Hey, you guys need to find a way to compromise, or recess will be over, and you won't have time to play anything. After lunch, our class was trying to decide where we should go on our field trip. I think we should go to the zoo. The zoo is just the best. There's lions and tigers and seals and bears, and we can see an ostrich nest. Well, I think we should go to the state capitol and take a tour and watch history shows. The capitol's more interesting than the zoo, and there's a lot that we all need to know. Hold on, let's stop this arguing instead. We'll take a class vote. Rats, the state capitol won. At the end of the day, Truman got to pass out popsicles because today is his birthday. By the time he got to Wilson and me, he only had two left, a blue one and a red one. Blue is my favorite color, and Truman is my best friend. Let go. Everyone knows that blue is my favorite color. You let go. No, it's mine. I want it. Wilson, Cora June, that's it. I'll take that popsicle. Tell Truman thank you, and then go sit down in your seats. We need to have a talk. You two have argued all day long. What you're doing just isn't right. You both need to learn how to compromise. I'm tired of hearing you fight. You have just about everything it takes to become great leaders. I just love how you both are willing to step up and take charge. I also love how you like to voice your opinions on things. But leaders can't be great leaders if they don't know how to compromise. Let's start with recess today. Cora June, you wanted to play dodgeball. And Wilson, you wanted to play soccer. Let's compromise and flip a coin. Heads, it's dodgeball. Tails, it's soccer. Can you both agree to that? Yep. Tails it is. Tomorrow you can play soccer and then the next day play dodgeball. Next, let's talk about our field trip. Wilson, you voted for the Capitol, and Cora, you voted for the zoo. Majority rules when we have a class vote. But that's not what I want to do. Well, Cora June, we don't always get what we want. A good leader always listens to others and tries hard to respect what they say. Your wants and your needs get compromised so others can get their way. And when you give instead of get, your insides start to feel strange. You helped somebody else be happy, and that feeling's a really nice change. Sometimes you have to compromise your wants and needs, so just make the best of it and choose to have fun at the state capitol. Besides, Cora June, doesn't your mom have a zoo pass? Yes. Well, then you can go to the zoo any old time. Now for these popsicles. Are you both so thankful that Truman gave them to you?
when you make a compromise, it can sometimes be a win-win. Each person gives and each person gets, which is better than where you've been. <gasps> hey, we could break both popsicles in half and then we could each have a red and a blue. That's a great idea. See, now that's a good compromise. Just remember, being able to compromise is a very important skill. You have to be willing to give something up in order to make a deal. And it's important to always remember, however, there are times when you don't compromise. Never say yes to a bad situation that's harmful, not safe, or not wise. Now, as far as our fantastic flavor feast goes on Friday, you too are going to have to compromise because each team can only bring one thing to share with the class. Hmm, I want spaghetti, tacos. All right, Wilson and I talked it out and today we're just about ready. We came up with a great compromise. Hey, it's Spacos, taco shells filled with spaghetti.